Do I look like a mess? Because I should. In a stunning twist that surprises absolutely nobody, I filmed my video last week. I even did makeup for it and edited the whole thing, got ready to upload it, and then my dumbass deleted it somehow. So here I am recording it again a week late. So this video will be a week late. Hello, welcome back to my story. If you did not know, my name is Harley Nouveau. And in today's chapter, we have the final update in my journey using Differin or Retinoid or Retin-A or Retinol or whatever you want to call it. The week 12 update. If my mood seems a bit on edge, it's because if you couldn't tell from the little tiny bit of TV showing, it's election day in the United States. As such, all of us are a nervous wreck. I wish it wasn't like that either. Fortunately, that's just the country we live in at the moment in time. But yeah, I really am bummed because I had makeup on and I hadn't worn makeup in so long. And I literally like, I did my skin update and then I had makeup and I was gonna be like, ooh, I'm back, bitches. You know, you may not be able to tell, I am actually a natural blonde. This is just a blonder version of the said blonde that I'm naturally am. You know what I'm trying to say. Without further ado, let's see what happens to your face on different week 12-ish. When last we left off, I had talked about how my skin hadn't really changed that much between week 9, 10, and 11. I was really waiting for the final week because I saw a lot of people online and talked about how the results really didn't show up until week 12. So I was cautiously optimistic about what the future had held for me. I was struggling with some acne still, not so much new breakouts, but breakouts that were taking forever and a day to go away, i.e. this one, this one, this one right here. They're still taking forever and a day to go away. I don't know if that's a result of the retinoid, retinol, retin-A, different. I'm not sure. It's not something I ever really struggled with prior to the routine, so I'm going to blame it on that. As far as my skin texture goes, at the time, it was it was very wishy-washy. Some weeks it was flakier, some weeks it was smoother, some weeks it my pores looked bigger. It was really hit and miss. And going into week 12, I don't know exactly what I was looking for, but I was hoping that everything would kind of come together. So I'm going to get up close. My skin has changed very little between last week and this week, and what has changed, I will explain what happened there. If it is not related, so just be aware. As always, you can see things look very, very similar. Now, I'm not overly shiny right now. I actually haven't washed my face this morning. It's like 8.30 because every time I put my moisturizer on in the morning, my face gets really shiny from the sunscreen, so I wanted to wait for that until after this, but probably shouldn't have because I have my eyebrows on and everything. So looking at it, Again, not much has changed. I have like two new pimples right here, but, and this one right at the beginning of my eyebrow. I had a big one pop up right here that's finally starting to go away, thank goodness. It was like a full on second head on my forehead, so that was not great. As the weeks have gone by, as I've been editing these videos, I have noticed what comes across as a downward shift in mood when it comes to the way that I'm presenting myself. And it's not, across the board outside of this. So it's not like every day in my life I'm just depressed or anything like that. It's specifically when it comes to this. And I think that a lot of it has to do with the fact that I jumped the gun a bit on what I thought was gonna be happening over these 12 weeks. I convinced myself the results I was gonna be seeing were a specific kind. And watching the changes in my skin not meeting those expectations that I unrealistically set has been a bit of a, a kick in the gut. I know that I was struggling with some things and obviously like I can objectively tell my skin has gotten better than it was for sure when I started 12 weeks ago. However, as I said in my last video, so many things have changed factor wise that I cannot honestly say it's all a result of the different because I was living in a climate that was way more humid. I do have very acne prone skin. And when it's humid outside, like stormy season here now, I will break out more. 
And I also changed some of my skincare routine outside of the difference. So I don't know if that was what played a part in it. And some other things, you know, I discovered I have rosacea. So I started using my rosacea medication and my skin this past two weeks has changed a bit from, I believe that because I've noticed my redness is never going to be gone all the way, but it does to me seem like it has toned down quite a bit. My skin texture overall, you might not be able to tell has improved quite a bit in person. Of course, I am breaking out a little bit. However, the type of rosacea that I have, subtype two, is caused by mites. And as the medicine kills them and they die off, it can induce breakouts. So I think that's what's happening with these new ones right here. But the differin has done, in my opinion, so little that I cannot honestly attribute most of the positive changes to it. In fact, and I understand that the end weeks are when you start to see the results, most of the negative things that happen to my skin, I feel like were a result of different. You know, if you watch my series, if you don't, surprise. From week four to eight, I broke out really bad. I had the worst skin I've had in over a decade. And I, powered through it under the assumption that at the end of the road, it was going to be worth it. And here I am at the end of the road and I understand that different is something you're supposed to do forever. And I feel like the results were not worth it enough for me to continue on this train. And for that reason, going forward, I don't think different or retinoid or retin-A is something I'm going to, I don't think, I know it's something that I'm not going to continue. Maybe if I were doing tretinoin of a stronger type, it would be a different story, but I cannot justify spending the money on this product when I feel like it hasn't changed enough for me. I do have other things now that can replace elements of it. As you know, I did start Curology and my prescription from there has azelaic acid, zinc oxide, and clindamycin which has some of the, some of the things I was using different for that will help tackle as well. I've recently started my ivermectin routine, cilantro, for my skin for rosacea, and that will help a lot of my problems as well. I just, I'm disappointed to say the least in the outcome of what I thought was going to be something more promising. So if you've been following me on this journey wondering if this is something you'd try out, I'm not gonna say no, but at the very most, go into it cautious and not with expectations of what you're going to see because you're gonna be disappointed. And I know I'm not the only one that I see all these success stories for anything across the board. And I'm like, that's gonna be me. I'm gonna be that person that goes in with problems getting come out looking like a supermodel, no. I'm gonna be that person that goes in with like, okay hair and comes out with like smooth, gorgeous, like wig quality hair, no. None of it ever works out the way that you think it's going to, as well as you think it's going to. In my experience, if you convince yourself it's going to. Every time I've ever had very good results from something, it's where I was not expecting it. And I guess it's a good philosophy in life because you don't set yourself up for premature disappointment. At the end of the day, after 12 weeks of different, do I think that it was worth it? No, I don't. And yeah, it's one of the bad things about skin. Everything takes so long for you to really see if it's effective or not. I wish there was a way to shortcut that shit, but there's not. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Quick little update before we actually sign off. Because I have hit the end of my journey, and you don't get to see it because I don't have any on, <clears throat> I am happy to say that I can start doing makeup and stuff again. Thank goodness. Um, I'm not going to continue a weekly skin vlog update. I will continue a weekly vlog, but it's not going to be skin related. There might be some skin updates, but it's going to focus on stuff across the board. So. If you like this kind of thing, and I doubt there are that many of you, not to be self-deprecating, but I have a very boring life. I'm not doing crazy stuff to keep you entertained. Uh, yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> look forward to makeup videos if you were here for that. Maybe one day I'll have some more stuff going on. But with all of that being said, I'm going to 
watch the news and try to hold myself together and hope that our country doesn't continue to be a hot ass mess moving forward. Take that how you will. So, as always, I am Parley Nouveau and I wish each of you every happiness until our stars next align.